Hi guys, it's Bob. Today I want to show you how I mounted my Minn Kota Tarova to my open bow bayliner boat without drilling any holes. So if, you want, if you've got an open bow boat and you've always wanted to put a, a bow mounted trolling motor up there and you just, you just couldn't figure out how or a good way to do it, check out this video. It, it worked out great for me. It wasn't hard to do and you can do it also. Um, I bought the boat new in 2001 and I have never wanted to drill any holes in it so this is key and nobody likes drilling holes in their boat guys so check out the video I mounted the Helix 9 Humminbird the only hole I had to drill was for the transducer in the back which wasn't a big deal because I already had a transducer from the old transducer back there so I just used the same holes for that other than that I didn't have to drill any holes in the boat I mounted the battery box in the front of the boat because it, it requires two batteries so I put them up there I didn't have room in the back for them so I was kind of worried it might be clumsy up there and a little too heavy but it worked out great I didn't notice any problem at all as a matter of fact it helps the boat get up on plane quicker and uh, it's all solid and it, it just it just worked out well so grab a piece of pizza or some popcorn and a cold hams beer or something and Watch the show, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, give me any comments, thoughts, ideas, whatever you got. Put it down there at the bottom, I'll be glad to read them. And uh, this video, is this project was so easy, anybody could do it. All you need is a few little power tools, a, a jigsaw, or whatever, and you can do it too. It, it worked great, and uh, hope you guys liked the video. Thanks. First thing I had to do was take the front running light off. I won't be using that and clean up all the tree sap from sitting in the driveway. Good thing Home Depot sells half sheets of plywood. I'm not too good at moving full sheets around anymore. I'm going to go with the quick release bracket just in case I leave my boat up north I could bring the trolling motor home. Drilling the holes for the front cleat, make sure you countersink them, and uh, this is how it looks underneath. So you got the front of the board attached down to the front cleat. Up top they're countersunk so they won't get in the way of the trolling motor. When you can't find a tape measure, the chalk line will do. You better just be there.
placing the front hold down board in place and marking where the threaded rod will come through. I went with these spider nuts or whatever they're called. You see them a lot in furniture making. These things, uh, you just pound them in from the bottom and the threaded rod screws right in. That way there's no threaded rod or nut sticking out of the bottom of the board that's gonna rip the seat cushion. Because the seat cushions are still removable when I'm done. And I don't wanna rip them, pulling them in and out, snagging on a nut or a threaded rod. So that worked out really well also. front hold down board is complete. Now doing the same thing on the back board. A little bit of Loctite and a lock nut. Machine going nowhere. Now when you mount your trolling motor, you gotta make sure you keep your trolling motor inside the footprint of the boat. The last thing you want is for your trolling motor to get snagged on a dock piling or a, or a post on the dock when you're backing out or pulling in. So make sure you keep the head of the trolling motor when it's stowed inside the footprint of the boat. There's a template that comes with the quick release. You gotta make sure you keep those screws not from interfering with the other screws you use to hold down the board. And you it's a little tricky, you gotta make sure the trolling motor's in the right place, plus the bolts all line up. It was kinda hard getting the washer, cause you can't fit your hand up in there. It's kind of hard getting the washers to stay up, so I put a piece of tape on the washers to hold them in place, and I use needle nose vice grips to hold the nuts while I tighten everything up, and uh, I use nylon nuts, so that ain't going nowhere, and it operates nice, worked out well.
found some old polyurethane that underneath the half inch of hard stuff was some good polyurethane. At least for this use, it was good enough. That thing is solid. You could stand on it and it ain't going nowhere. I found that for $25 on Amazon, the breaker, and uh, put that on there. Can't remember the amperage, but it's whatever Minn Kota recommended. I redesigned the green strap for the battery hold down because I didn't want to, once the box was mounted in the boat, there would be no way to get the green strap in and out of there. So I went with these, which worked much better. Drilled a couple holes in the side of the carpet there. You'll never even see if I ever take it out because the carpet will cover the holes. No big deal. But didn't want the battery box to shift around in rough water. No need to buy expensive plugs that they sell just for trolling motors. Bought a male and a female plug at Home Depot or Menards, wherever, and uh, they work just fine. There's the board that I'm going to mount everything to in the back and uh, it's getting old I'm gonna build a new one next spring and I'll make a video on that too this one's this one's very old but it worked well for years again I drove no holes in the boat to put the board on the waterproof terminal box I used. Helix 9, very fine hummingbird locator. Can't wait to see this thing out in the water. Leveling the transducer is best to do out on the water, but when you're driveway, you just do the next best thing. Maybe I'll explain how to level it in the water in a different video. There's the puck that you use that connects Bluetooth to the head of the trolling motor so that the trolling motor via GPS can know where the nose of the boat is pointing. That's how it gets its bearing. I found these running lights on Amazon for like 14 bucks. Love them, they work great.
it is. All finished and mounted and deployed. There's the hummingbird in the back. Most of the fishing I do is trolling, so I wanted the, tro the locator on the backboard. The battery box looked good. Everything worked out well. That's where I plug in my backboard to get power to everything. And you got to hold the buttons down here and there, one on the trolling motor, one on the puck in the back, and you uh, just wait till the blue light flashes just right, and that means they're talking to each other and they know what way the boat's pointing. Magic moment out on the water, checking out the Helix 9. You gotta do two complete circles so the GPS can figure out what the heck you're doing. I don't know how all that works, but it'll tell you your setup is complete after you do two complete circles. And that's about it, man. It was a lot of fun doing this project. Thanks for watching.